Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Wedging Me This. Um, this is going to be another low roller video, low roller series video. Um, today we are going to do where we use the field to turn our bets into inside, okay? This is a very common thing. This has been shown on a lot of channels, um, but this is, a, this is a good way to play as well if you're a low roller. Ignore those blue chips right there. Those are for my live videos. I don't want to move them. That way, you know, people remember what's going on. And I remember what's going on. So anyways, we got $100 out there. We're going to get $10 in white chips. All right, so what you do here, we're never gonna be the shooter in this one. You put $11 in the field. $11 in the field. So what you end up doing is if you roll a field number, you get a, you can take that 11 plus the other 11, and that's $22, and you can turn it into 22 inside. All right, so base, you're at a $5 table, guys. You have to play this at a $5 table, whatever type you use, whether it's bubble crafts, whether it's, you know, the electronic tables, if you have a felt table, whatever, $5 table. So here we go. We got a seven. That's not going to do it. All right, so we're going to get 11 more dollars out. Here we go. And a nine, okay. So right here we hit our field, points nine. What does it really matter in this strategy? We're gonna win 11 bucks. All right, so that's gonna create $22. So now we turned 11 into 22 and turned it into our inside bets. Now from here, you do whatever you want. Press, collect, I don't know, whatever it is you do from here. Three, one, four. Personally, I would press and whatever. I would try to get these bets built up. Because you're playing 22 inside at half price. Three, two, five. Or you could spread out to the four and 10, which also makes sense. I press my six, collect a dollar. Remember, you're only $11 invested in each time this happens. There's the nine, that's the point. Doesn't really matter for us as far as the point goes, but it is a $7 winner. Press our eight. And so now right here, you could put the $11 out there again and try to add to it, but we're not gonna, we're just gonna be off on the come out because most people are. And there's a six. Here we go. We'll probably collect the next hit no matter what it is. It's an eight, that's a good one. It's a $14 winner. We're gonna do 15 for one. So now we've definitely paid for that $11 we started with. We're just moving on. Hopefully we get some more rolls, hard four. Maybe the next hit will spread out to the four and 10. There's just a lot, a lot of stuff you can do here. Hard, easy four that time. Eight, all right, $14 winner. So this is a good thing, because right here, if we could use the 14, we're gonna drop a dollar for 15. But you can use this, right, to just buy, get the four and 10 right away. Because you hit a press number. That's pretty nice. Still collect a little bit of money. Six, that's the point. That's a $14 winner also. We're gonna drop a dollar for 15. like that let's press our five let's rack up a little bit of money everything's off we got a seven so we saved our butt there still off back to back sevens four three the first time six one this time still off six okay seven out Okay. Not bad, not a bad run at all. Let's try it again. You know, even though we lost that first $11, the second one we won, and then it turned into a pretty good run. Now, obviously you can take your money off the table whenever you reach your profit goal or whatever the case is. That's up to you. All right, here we go. Everything's working, we just have to feel seven, okay. A lot of sevens right now. We're gonna drop $11. Uh, 
uh, just 11. 11? Yo, 11. So that's going to win $11. We're going to turn it right into our 22. All right, we're still off. We got a seven. We're still off. We got a five. Okay. And you could keep this eleven dollars up here and use it to press your bets if you wanted. Three deuce five. In fact, we'll show that right here. Let's just, we'll show that. Seven dollar winner. All right, so we're gonna put the eleven back up, and we're just gonna keep it up. All right, um, we're off on the box numbers. We'll be working on the field. Five, okay. Eleven dollars is going to lose. We'll replace it. Seven. Oh, that is the worst thing that could happen. If you're going to roll a lot of sevens, guys, this strategy is going to lose because it's a light side strategy. That's just the way that is. All right, eleven dollars again. Three. Okay, we'll take that one. That's a winner for us. It's going to win eleven. And then we're going to add our other eleven. And this is just an alternate version of it. Box numbers are off, so there's a ten. All right, so we want another one. So now we've hit twice and now our bets are doubled out here and our point is 10 here we go now you could keep going but I'm just gonna leave it right there let's see what happens now there's the nine if we would have had the out there we would have got out there again that would have been cool but that's 14 so we're gonna drop one for 15 and in this case, after kind of the mess we've just had, I would just collect a few times. That way I'd get my bankroll back. Hopefully. Nope. Seven. That's not a five, guys. That was a seven. That is poopy. All right. We can try it a few more times. Seven's coming real hot on us here kind of causing some issues. There is another seven. A six, okay, so that's also a loser. This is the one issue with this strategy is that you could definitely go on a run of non-field numbers. We're gonna drop this for four or five dollars in white. You could definitely go on a run in on field numbers pretty easily. There's a nine. So that's gonna win here, and we're gonna get out on the on the boxes. Which is the goal in this strategy. You're just trying to get out here so you can get some positive payouts, and these sevens are just way too hot today. But you guys are getting the idea of what how this works. This is another version of farming the field another type of farming the field um, I'll be honest guys generally it works a little better than it's working here um, these have been pretty pretty heavy run of sevens doesn't mean it's not possible obviously it is it's just uh, this is a pretty heavy run of sevens there's a hard four so we're gonna get our $11 Put our boxes out. Hopefully we get a little run here. Got an eight, okay. Seven dollar winner. Press the six. Maybe, maybe we can hit a few of these and, and get our money back. Let's see what happens. Yo, 11. Four, that's the point, not for us though. All right, we're off. Got the four right back. Aces. Nine, okay, so that's a $7 winner. 
is a long roll and we really haven't got much to show for it. But we'll see. We'll see how it ends here. 12. Wow, we've got aces and 12 in this roll. Very nice. Seven out. That's poopy. Man, that was a pretty long roll, and we really we we didn't make any money. <laughs> oh, it's just hard to miss all those numbers that many times. It's pretty difficult. All right, eleven dollars. So it looks like it's going to be our last try at this. That's fine. And we have five, so that's a loser. And we don't quite have it, so let's just put our nine in the field and see what happens. See what we can do with the nine. If we can get it. Oh, we got a seven. Of course, we ended on a seven. So we lost all our bankroll on that one. But you guys get an idea how to turn 11 into 22. It's not a hard concept to understand. Um, and obviously, you could do it with different denominations. If you were just trying to play 36 on the six and eight, you know, like uh, 18 each, you could just put 18 in the field, and when it hits, you could place both numbers. So, you know, if you were trying to do uh, something like 60, uh, 64 across, you could put, you know, 32 in the field. If it hits, you could get 64 across for $32. So it works at every level. Um, it just You just have to hit the field numbers, and then when you get the boxes set, you can't hit sevens. Um, and that's what happened here. We just hit way, way too many sevens. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. This is Jacob from Why Me This. Hope you guys liked the video. Y'all have a great day.